It's time for the NFC Championship, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through Green Bay. It's the Eagles and the Packers. All that and more coming up next on EA Sports. It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we're on the road to the Super Bowl. Up next, we're keeping it in the NFC for this one between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Green Bay Packers. Hello to everyone watching. Joined by Brock Heward up here in the booth, I'm Kate Scott. And in a while, we're going to find out the answer to a question that fans have been asking for nearly half a year at this point. Who is going to represent this conference in the Super Bowl? All of these coaches and players preach all season long, never look ahead. You can't do it, right? You've got to focus so much on the present. But you know that every man out there is so aware of what's on the line today and where they could be playing in two weeks. It's going to be a game-long challenge, no question, to keep the focus on the right here and the right now. Once you've got a win iced away, well, then you can start entertaining those Super Bowl thoughts and those Super Bowl realities. And he's brought down just inside the 25 on the return. So here come the Eagles for their opening drive. They're led out by an incredible score through the air and on the ground. He was picked 53rd back in 2020. It's Jalen Hurts. Kate, it's not often that we talk about quarterbacks having a nose for the end zone in football. It's usually reserved for the running backs. But Jalen Hurts has changed that conversation. He has so much power, so much strength. You get him into the short yardage situations around the goal line, he finds a way to get in. But it's not just there. He's got a deep ball that's the envy of many. He's elevated his teammates around him. And he's got a skill set that I know a lot of quarterbacks would sure love to have. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. They get six and a first down as well. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, is really quick decision-making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive gain. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. On second down, here's Barkley. And this one doesn't go far. He'll get that yard back, but no more. It's third and ten. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, It'll largely be because of a play just like that one, softening up the front and opening the door for a bigger gap in the future. On third down, it's Hurts. Escapes the pocket. He's running for it. And this one does not go far. It's one of those situations, not much to be had there, no matter what he did with the ball. Even if he scraped a positive gain out of it, that's still a win and a confidence builder for this defense. Now on fourth down, on comes Braden Mann to boot this away for the Birds. Fields this at the 19. And a nice return out of him. They have it a little further up past their own 30. So now it's the Packers getting out on offense for their opening drive. They'll be let out by the Utah State product and former first rounder back in 2020, Jordan Love. And he doesn't have the advantage he usually does coming off a of bye week. Both these teams came in here well rested after a Sunday away. Of course, that means an extra week of prep work for this defense, too. So he's got his work cut out for him to find ways to attack them today. They'll motion a tight end left. Jacobs gets it to start the drive. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. He'll move the sticks after ripping off a gain of 28. I love these inside runs. Don't get away from them. You never know. You think it's going to be a short little gain, and then boom, get the right blocking, a possessed running back, and you get some serious yards on the table. 
First down now, ball at the 39-yard line. Let's go. Hunt, hunt. They stick with Jacobs. He cuts it back right. Moving on into the red zone. And he runs this one in. Touchdown, Green Bay. The Packers don't need long to take a 6-0 lead. It's a Josh Jacobs touchdown. Well, Brock, they could prove me wrong, but I don't think touchdowns are going to come that easily the rest of this game. But starting out, we all welcome the quick score. Yeah, not a lot of energy exerted, right? Not a lot of their cards shown just yet. They only got a couple plays into their strategy, and they found pay dirt. A lot of mystery still to come with what they're going to do schematically. A lot of answers have to be found defensively. That one right down the middle. And the Packers will jump out to a 7-0 lead. Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Here's Smith on the return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Eagles about set to get going for their second drive. And they're certainly hoping for some better results here after that first drive ended in a punt. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Motioning one of the tight ends. They'll start this series with an option left. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. It's easy for me to say up here in the friendly confines of the booth, Kate, but that was not the right read. <laughs> and you hate seeing him absorb yet another kid at the end of the play. You never want him taking unnecessary shots throughout this game. Shotgun snap for Hurts. Barkley's got it. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. That just might be a throw he regretted as soon as you let it go. I know that feeling. <laughs> he was doing all he could to find a completion down the field. But they were all over that check down and ready to turn it into a negative play. Third and long for him here. He's got Smith. And he's brought down for a loss. I'll tell you, that is a humbling moment to see a completed third down pass actually go backwards instead of towards the sticks. The Eagles are in punt formation. Keyshawn Nixon returning this for the Packers. The return begins on their side of midfield. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. Officially a 55-yard launch. And the Packers have a short field in front of them as they take over. First and ten from a yard shy of midfield. Here we go, set. Hut. Shotgun now for Love. To the ground it goes, that's incomplete. Target that time, Jaden Reed. So second down coming up. Boy, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. And he reaches midfield and starts driving into Eagles territory. They get about four there, need a little more than that now on third and six. Love out of the shotgun. He fires one deep down the middle. And the defender redirects that deep shot. Nicely done, incomplete. So fourth down, here comes Daniel Whelan to send it flying for the Packers. Packers. 
And this one hits first of the three before continuing on into the end zone for a touchback. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Back to throw. Hurts. Completed to his running back. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. We're one quarter into deciding who's going to represent the NFC in the Super Bowl. 7-0 is our score. We'll return to historic Lambeau Field after this. Ready now for our second quarter. The Eagles have the football. They're looking at second and pretty short. Hurts the throw. Gets it to Paris Campbell. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. Now, hang on. Looks like somebody came out after that play a little shaken up. Not sure we saw exactly what happened, but he'll get some assistance now. All set up now for first and ten. Operating from the gun. Here's Hertz. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. As a defense, you got to see the pass. you got to time up your hit, and you got to jar that ball loose. Not a lot of offensive players are hanging on to that one through a well-placed hit. Hurts trying again on second down. And he can't escape. The Packers drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. to his right and he's going to be brought down at the 42 just not much to do right there whether he wanted to run it or throw it even if he scraped a positive gain out of it that's still a win for this defense Braden man and wants more for another punt Nixon deep to return and he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. Begins his return at the 16. And you love the effort on that return as he gets him all the way up beyond the 40. Terrific return here, 24 yards. And the Packers will take over possession. First and 10 from the 41. On the handoff, here's Jacobs. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. I'll tell you what, Kay, one of the things I'm most proud of coming out of broadcast are my O-line buddies that will hit me up during the game and say thank you. Thank you for finally showing some love and giving some light to what those big boys are doing up front. I got to play with some of the best to do. I got to see it up close and personal because of it. I'll never forget it. And they just showed up on that run. Here's first and 10 from the 34. They go counter. It's Jacobs. And the power play up the gun only results in two yards. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs against the better defenses in this league. On second down, Jacobs. Nice cut back to the right sideline. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. Kate, I know you can see that smile on my face as we stand next to each other. Sure, I love that run. But I'm thinking about some great running backs, in fact, Corey Dillon, who created a lot of negative grades on my play sheet because I didn't want to carry out no fake. I wanted to watch the damage he could do like we just saw. And he'll have it down to almost the 10-yard line. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. 
Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Go. Go. Going run again with Jacobs. And they bring him down at the seven-yard line. A four-yard pickup, and they're just inches shy as we reach third down. An offensive group really hoped he was going to get it all right there, reset it back to first down. But instead, the defense, well, they're not going to let anything come easy. And their fight has given them a chance to stall things out on the third and short. Here we go, third and less than a yard. Down. Ready? To the air with love. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. A six-yard loss. It's fourth down. We're to the two-minute warning from Lambeau. The Packers likely looking at a field goal try. The Packers are going to turn to their kicker, Anders Carlson, for the field goal try. High percentage look for him here from the left hash. And this one had a brief chance, but not a good kick in the end. He misses it. And it stays a one-possession game at seven points. You would think the kickers should be automatic from anything inside of 40 yards, but I guess that could serve as a little general reminder you can never take any kick for granted. So many things have to go right each time for it to be up and good. Able to get it to Barkley. It's a 21-yard gain. And that's good for an Eagles first down. I don't know about you, Kate, but I think somebody's auditioning for some extra work as a receiver. If he could do that coming out of the backfield, imagine the damage he could do if they sent him out into one of those spots out wide. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Eagles hustling everyone back to the line. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Kate, I don't know if I've ever told you, but my dad was a driver's ed teacher. And I could just hear him right now say, son, take this out of reverse and put it in drive. Because this one's going nowhere right now. A drastic change on this play needed, and maybe a whole lot of luck to keep this series alive. So not an enviable spot here as they come up on third and very long. They'll go from the gun with Barkley. What a hit! He gets flattened to the ground. An eight-yard gain, but still left with fourth and a bunch. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Great man on the punt. And he'll try to hit this one well. And he sends this away. Definitely his best kick of the game thus far. That's taken at the 15. And he gets his offense in better field position here to start. Up close to the 30. Nice 12-yard pickup on the return. And it's going to be their football coming up. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and 10. Love now. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. We've got enough data now through the years to understand that an explosive play on offense more often than not leads to scoring. We also know if you can create a negative play defensively in a tightly contested game like this, every play matters. And to get that negative play, put this offense on their heels exactly what this defense needed. You know, it is so refreshing for these running backs when they have space to run. It's hard. There's so many collisions between the tackles. When they get on the edge and have green grass, well, the best of them take advantage of it. All right, this is going to be the play that takes us to halftime. Ready. A final throw before the break. He's throwing deep. That's complete inside the 35-yard line. That 
it's halftime. Only two quarters standing between one of these teams and the NFC spot in the Super Bowl. Now we'll get you down to our Orlando studios for the EA Sports Halftime Report with Jonathan Coachman. But first, time to look ahead to the AFC Championship coming up later today. And it should be a great one as well, as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts doing battle with the Baltimore Ravens. We just watched a solid first half from the 2022 rushing champ, Josh Jacobs. He's already over 100 yards rushing for the game and has a touchdown run as well. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing, as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. These two teams making their final adjustments for the second half ahead. It's time to get back at it. For the call, let's rejoin Kate Scott and Brock Hewart. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. The Hallis Trophy awaits one of these teams, partner. Just a half to go as we're off in the third quarter. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Here's the Packer offense headed out to start the third quarter. They're out and set, first and ten. Jacobs running behind center. And it's a nice gain on the run, aided by that broken tackle. Just a little short, but still a nine-yard pickup. That's going to bring up second and one. Hey, look, Kate, you can't just ask one tackler to go mano y mano and stop this guy. you got to have the cavalry coming. One guy makes a hit, the others are there to clean up and pile on, because one-on-one, -on -one, he's going to run right through you. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. That right there, that will make the coaches happy. He didn't just get the first down, but got a healthy chunk of bonus yards afterwards. Football on that 47-yard line, first down. Here we go. Cut, cut. Play fake, it's Love. He lets a heater go deep middle. It is caught at the 20. And he's gonna be stopped at the 17 yard line. It's a 30 yard play, Brock, and they've got a fresh set of downs. I try to remind you a time or two, Kate, that you always gotta start your read from the secondary forward. You gotta see what the safeties are doing. If you're gonna throw a ball in the middle third, deep downfield like that, you have to have tremendous awareness of where those safeties were. QB just nailed it. Thinking touchdown here after that big play. We've got first and ten from the red zone. Ready, ready. Put. Jacobs gets it on the draw. And he drives this forward to the six. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock, and they'll have first and goal to figure out. Offensive coordinators tell us all the time, big runs only happen with coordinated efforts. Great block in the spring of guys hitting blocks downfield and a back who can show off his wheels. They'll run, Jacobs. And he powers through the middle for a gain of four. Hey, I get it on first and goal, right? A lot of teams like to be conservative and, and limit risk. Even if a run is stopped short, you still got two, sometimes three downs to play with. Ball at the two here for second and goal. Set, right. ready, ready. Jacobs. And he barrels across for the touchdown. The Packers grow the lead coming out of halftime. It's a Josh Jacobs touchdown. He would not be denied that close to the end zone, Brock. I think it might have taken five or six guys tackling him to keep him from diving across the line for six. Certainly a second effort touchdown, no question. The backs who become fan favorites, we've seen it through the generations, and they set the curve for their peers, are the ones who just fight through that stop. It will not be a denied of a touchdown. The extra point is up, and it is good. And the Packers double their lead to 14. The Packers 
Lakers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Has this at the six. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Philadelphia getting ready to go on offense. And I'm sure they're tired of bringing out the punter, Brock. They're hopefully going to give them some rest this time around and find some points to go after that lead. And the drive will start out with a first and ten. Hurts now from the gun. That's into the hands of Barkley. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason. And one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. Here we go, second and nine. Goddard makes the catch. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Well, things weren't about to end after the first hit or the second. Stadion had a vision for what he wanted to happen after the catch, and he was going to take on all comers to try to make it a reality. He's on the move. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through. That's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. So out now comes the punter. And he's going to do the honors for the fourth time today. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. He has it at the 33. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. That one an impressive 57-yard kick. And they'll get ready to go on offense. starting spot for the Packers this drive first and ten coming up Let's go now. a give to Jacobs on the inside handoff and he cuts it back right and they catch up to him but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down they pick up 20 yards there and that's good for a Green Bay first down those unsung heroes, those big guys up front on the O-line, well, let's give them a little love right here, okay? They don't always get the attention they deserve on a broadcast, but let me tell you, they played a huge role in that big old run. Okay, ready? New set of downs for him at the 38. On first and ten, here's Love. He lets one fly deep downfield. And disaster averted. He knocks away the deep ball incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Here we go. Here we go. Set. Takes the handoff now, Love. That's to the sideline. It's a catch by Dobbs. And he'll be out of bounds just a yard or two short of that 25. Pickup of 12 on that play. And it'll be first down, Packers. Love from the gun. And that's going to be knocked away incomplete. Took his shot at six that time. And it's going to be second down. I don't fault the look downfield at all. I mean, that's just a situation there where it's a better defensive play than the offense executing. Loves to throw again. Has it to his back. Here's Josh Jacobs. And he'll be met near the line to limit the game to a yard. And like his dad before him, Jeremiah Trotter Jr. on the tackle. Drive in dire straits. It's third and nine. 
Ready. Ready. Turning to Jacobs on third. And he makes it to the start of the red zone down at the 20. Call it five yards there. It's going to be fourth and four. This is a guy who, man, when he is in a group, when he is feeling it, you're just not going to bring him down with an arm tackle. You better buckle up. You need a textbook tackle on this guy. Wrap, grab some cloth, and drive him to the ground with all you got. A 37-yard attempt. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that one was hit great. It sails on through without incident. I think you could call this one now, Kate. This field goal makes it a three-score game, and even the most improbable comeback attempts are going to have a hard time erasing that type of deficit here in the final quarter. Here's Smith on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. Now the Eagle offense headed back out to the field. And with this loss already assured, they at least want to find some points and avoid being shut out. Drive starts out with a first and ten. Throwing here, Hurts escapes the pocket. Caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out! And it's a turnover. The defense has it. And the nightmare continues as they bring the fumble back for a touchdown. The Packers keep adding to that fourth quarter lead. Really smart play from him there, Brock. Not just to fall on the football, but to take it in for the score. Yeah, a word we don't normally use with D-Lyman a lot, quickness, right? It's usually the corner skill guys, yep. but he was quick, man. He downshifted in a hurry for six. Carlson now to add one more. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Packers make it a 24-point ball game. Still reeling a little after fumbling that away, but they're going to get it right back with this kickoff. Here's Smith on the return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. Philadelphia's offense back out for another drive. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them. Really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into. Okay, I like to say in life there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Ball and defender arrived at the exact same time there. And that'll bring up second down. Now Hurts. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Shotgun snap for Hertz. Buys time, rolling run. And they get to him again. And consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. Some squads you just see love to do this, Kate. And I've got so much respect for defensive coordinators who late in the game, instead of playing prevent, well, they step up the aggression meter back-to-back -back sacks, puts this offense and this quarterback way off schedule. And a good return as he gets him up across midfield and into enemy territory. The Packers and Josh Jacobs about set to go on offense. The kicking team got downfield quickly there. He didn't manage much on the return. And they're going to be set up in great position to begin their drive. Let's go. Hut, hut. Running on first here with Jacobs. And with a nice skein, he runs him down inside a field goal range. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. Ready, set. Here we go, set. 
And he sent a man in motion. Hand off here to Jacobs. He's across the 20, still going. And he has this show all the way down to the 14-yard line. A 19-yard pickup, and that's going to move the chains. This dude was just not going to be stopped, not by the first defender, heck, not even by the second one who was able to bring him down. No, it took a few shots before this crew could finally get this piece down. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. Here we go. Hut, hut. From the red zone now. This throw is caught. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. That's a gain of 13, and it sets him up with first and goal. First down. First and goal at the one yard line. Ready. From the gun, it's a gift to Jacobs. Has the Green Bay touchdown. The Packers keep running away with this. It's a Josh Jacobs touchdown. His third of the game on the ground. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. In baseball, it's three strikes and you're out. I know you experienced that a lot, but on the gridiron, you're feeling pretty happy, right? If you can strike the end zone three times in one game. Yeah, I'd rather go hockey and soccer. That's just a positive guy in me. They call that a hat trick. It's worth celebrating. You. And yeah, they should celebrate this effort. Carlson adds the extra point. And the Packers continue piling onto this lead. The Packers about set to kick this one away, and away we go again. Here's Smith on the return. And the return sets them up just beyond their own 20. The Eagles about set to go on offense. The opportunity to win this game is, well, it's long gone, Brock. They're down to their last opportunities now to avoid the shutout as well. Backfield is empty as they motion him outright. Forced out to his right. Now here he goes. And that's good yardage with a new set of downs. So we're down to the two-minute warning here from Green Bay. Eagles hoping to do some window dressing in the time remaining. Ball at the 33 for first down. Hurts looking to throw. Dumps it off to his running back. And he'll get it up near the 38-yard line before going down. Well, that's a pretty similar result to a first down run play. Moves it forward, keeps you on schedule, and makes second and third down a whole lot easier to manage. And this time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And that pushes them back. Third down coming up. Consecutive sacks have them staring at a tough fourth down. The Eagles are in punt formation. He sends this away, and oh, this is going to be a field flipper. Takes this one at the 40. And he's brought down before the return gets far. It's a 61-yard punt that time. And it'll be their football. The Green Bay offense about to get started once more. And even with three timeouts left on the other sideline, they have this one wrapped up. We'll see if they even use those timeouts. A nice starting spot for the Packers this drive. First and ten coming up. Wow, they're going to pass it here. Cut by Jacobs. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. So a historic venue in football sees yet another win as the Packers take this one at Lambeau. And one last huge step has been taken, partner, as they claim that George Hallis Trophy is NFC champions. 
And now just one step and one trophy remain. Two weeks from now when they take the field in the Super Bowl. Well, that'll do it for us, for Brock Heward and our entire hardworking crew. I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Packers are your winners as we say so long from Green Bay.